They're talking so much about David Rea, David Rea and Ramsdale passing out from the back. But Sanchez has been caught out a few times this season. There's one occasion where it landed on the roof of the net. Today, though, he was actually punished for it. Was it his fault, though, or was it Enzo? Yeah, well, first of all, he is... In, uh, the fact that we've just seen a, um, a replay of David Rea doing essentially the same thing. Most goalkeepers are going to get caught with this this season because most goalkeepers are asked to play out the back. I think, and you could tell by his gesture, that he thinks Enzo is going to get it. Enzo doesn't want it. Um, the old school mentality is just put it into the stand and stop the goal, but he's asked to do this. And it's not, it's not such a terrible pass in the end. It's, if he'd hit it hard, mm. Enzo would have had no chance, but Enzo just doesn't want it. Um, can I just quickly say, what I love about Declan Rice's description of the goal is how he's described every moment. He's that good a player. It's like, I had to do this and I had to do that, but it all happened in a split second. Top draw. Yeah, it was a top great draw. finish. Yeah. yeah. The, the only thing I was surprised about was he said, and, and luckily. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't think there was anything <laughs> yeah. lucky no. about it at all. I think that was him just being modest, to be fair. Um, but a, a really good finish from a difficult position. Um, he's only got basically one area that he can manage to score from. Um, but again, there, there must be times, David, where you must almost be ripping out your hair on the basis that you know, that pass isn't on to Enzo. He doesn't want the ball. So it, yeah, why, I, I, why doesn't why doesn't Sanchez put his foot through it? Because I think the pass is on. And Do I you think really? That you, yeah, absolutely. And this is wow. this is the problem. Even with that, the, the, I don't want to hammer David Raya too much here, but David Raya's pass wasn't on because there was a, a, a Chelsea player in front of him. Mm literally in front of him. Sanchez has played a relatively slow ball round the corner, which he's probably done a hundred times already this season. Yeah. And Enzo just didn't want it. And I'm, I think Enzo should want it because that's the way the team plays. Yeah. I'm not blaming Enzo, no. but in the end, what but Sanchez is doing, what he's been asked for, and I don't, if Poch goes in there and has any criticism for Sanchez doing what he's been asked to do, yeah. then that's wrong sure. and putting undue pressure on, even with David Rea, you're asked to do that, then every now and again there's going to be a, a punishment. With Rea, he managed to get across and make a, make a block, but yeah, Enzo just did not want the ball and therefore if anyone's at fault, more at fault than the other, then it would be Enzo for just not wanting the ball and essentially appreciating the situation being a normal situation in the way that Chelsea play. Well, even the, in the case of just kicking it into row Z, I think the, the fault would have to go the manager. Because that's what Mikel Arteta said. I interviewed him after the Manchester City game and I was there and the fans were booing David Ray. They were, they were booing him for most of the mm. first half because mm. he was trying to invite the press from City. We don't get, no need to get tactical here, mm. but he was yeah. just trying to invite the press and he was holding the ball for 30 seconds at a time. But he managed to block out the noise from the crowd. He almost got caught out against City as well, trying to invite the press. But Mikel Arteta said, no, that's my fault. If the fans want to boo somebody, they yeah. should boo me because I'm telling him to do it. And it's credit to the goalkeepers for, for trying to play yeah. to the sure. manager's philosophy and ethos. Well, I'm, I'm currently on my goalkeeping A licence and the Brighton goalkeeping coach is on part of our cohort. And there was a mistake made by the Brighton, well, I can't remember which keeper it was at the time. And he said, the manager just went, that's no, fine. I've asked you to do it. And every now and again, it's not going to work. The problem is, if you keep doing it, then you're not capable of carrying out the exercise, as opposed to occasionally it doesn't work. So for Sanchez, as you said, he hasn't been punished until this moment. For Rea, he hasn't been punished. But if he continues doing it and continues getting punished, then the manager has to say, I can't trust you to do what I'm asking you to do. I think even Pep has, has addressed mm. it when he first brought, I can't remember if it was Claudio Bravo or Edison about playing out from the back saying, look, mistakes will happen. If you're going to play like that throughout 38 games in just the league, mm -hmm. there's going to be at least one mistake. But we're, and we're you have seeing to understand it. The thing happen. is, we're seeing it week in, week out mm -hmm. because every it seems pretty much every manager yeah. or coach is asking their goalkeeper yeah. to play that way. So you know, don't be but, surprised. But, yeah, but I, I just think that there there is an occasion where actually it's impossible. We're under that much pressure. We we I can't get that pass in there. Why try and play but of course, it if you but can't? But, but, then it has to go, doesn't but it? This situation with uh, Sanchez and Enzo was not that occasion. Okay. It's an easy ball, and Enzo just needs to be alive for it yeah. or want it, and then uh, he gets a touch on it, and then Deccan Rice isn't describing a fantastic. Let's agree lucky to finish. disagree a touch on that one. No, I can't. I'm not oh. having it. I'm not. I, I, I just think that the way that they played, Enzo just everything about him suggested he didn't want it.
On occasion, though, when you go long, Edison's got himself some assists. Allison yeah. yeah. has got himself a few assists sure. for Mo Salah using the pace playing on the break, just going long. So I guess it's decision making from the goalkeeper. Well, we were talking as well. about we're talking about world class players here. Literally, yeah, they literally yeah. world class players. So if they're not comfortable playing in space, it wasn't mm. like Enzo was under pressure. It wasn't like it was a terribly fast ball, which he was never going to get to. They should be able to deal with that comfortably and play up. OK, so just really briefly, <laughs> if, if Enzo had received that pass, where was he going to go with it on that situation? Well, probably the same place he would have gone in the, the 100 passes he received this season. The, the team is built for that yeah. little pass well, in there, and then all of a sudden they but do I'm one, two, three... I'm talking about this one situation. Because you're telling me it was, it was on, but Enzo didn't want it. Mm. I don't think it was on. And I've seen it as many times as you. OK. That's, that's, I, I that's all I'm it, saying. I, and so this is the great thing about football, isn't it? And, you know, the, you know, it's subjective. You know, was it a handball, wasn't it a handball example? Um, yeah, I, 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 I can't I agree. Just thought, I, just... I just thought it was really... I totally agree with you that if you want your players to play out, then you have to encourage them to do that. And if it goes wrong, you as the coach have to take the blame. Totally agree with that. But I still think there are the odd occasion where the player in that position... I think I, I did it myself as a player. You know, that's what the coach wants, but I don't fancy it on this occasion. And yeah, I have that, to do that something definitely, different. definitely wasn't a Rose Ed kick. That was a, a, no, I'm an not easy pass Rose Ed. He knocked it to down one of the, the best park. players, arguably one of the best players in the world. Move on, um, Adam. Okay. Who just didn't want it. <laughs> I, I, gonna, I would be spitting feathers in the changing room. I'm just going to throw this in because <laughs> Gary has often told a story on the show about how he was playing and what he did was he just passed the ball to Glenn Hoddle. Now, Glenn Hoddle could see things on the pitch. You, you probably couldn't, or he was able to execute something which very, very few players in the world could. Yeah. Uh, maybe because of that, I mean, Enzo, he's a very, he's a great, great player. He's a World Cup winner. Maybe yeah. if you don't think he yeah. has anything on, maybe he yeah. and Sanchez believes that he has the ability yeah. to find something because yeah, he's that sure. good a player. Yeah, I take your point. Late on in the game, Enzo's tired, a bit fatigued, mm. struggling with cramp. I don't know. So do you still give him the ball? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I, I when mean, he's tired and struggling with cramp and, you know, I, I think... Yeah, Gary, come on. The, 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 we're talking about a team that have been put together with a lot of money, yeah. with the, some of the best talent, young talent and current talent, yeah, sure. in world football. And Robert Sanchez plays a ball which wasn't heavy, into space, and Enzo switches... Basically says, I'm not having it. That isn't Sanchez's fault initially, but also... They are capable of doing this for 90, 99 minutes. That's why they're on the field. This isn't like you play 75 minutes and you're not, you're not fit enough. I, I, I just think that the system that the players are asked to, you're going to see these mistakes more and more. I'm not saying that Enzo was completely at fault for the goal because it still required a good finish. If I was going to criticise him, I would say that maybe he should have tried better to block Declan Rice's shot because it whistles past his ear and if he was brave, then he could have stuck his head in the way. Okay. But that's, that's taking it to another, another show. <laughs>